Hello and welcome. Australia was an early adopter of jets for their Air Force. There was the Gloucester Media, de Havilland Vampire, Avon Sabre and English Electric Canberra. By the late 1950s, during the 1947-1991 Cold War, the RAAF began evaluating a replacement for the Avon Sabre. While the F-104G was a contender, it was considered too expensive and too complex. The English Electric Lightning was a dynamic fighter, but fuel limited and had little promise for future development. The ultimate choice was the French Mirage 3E. The basic technology of the Mirage 3 was derived from World War II German research into delta wing aerodynamics and the BMW based ATAR engine. French Dassault Aviation first started to develop the Mirage 3 single seat interceptor fighter bomber in 1953. There had been interest in the success of the Soviet built MiG 15 jet propelled light fighter aircraft in the Korean War. This heavily armed jet powered swept wing fighter was the result of rapid advances in Soviet aircraft capabilities. The French criteria was for a heavily armed light fighter that could intercept in 6 minutes to 60,000 feet. To that end, a rocket engine pack was incorporated under the fuselage aft to the wing. The rocket pack gained a reputation for setting fire to the aircraft. Never a good thing. However, the newly developed Snecma ATAR after burning turbojet engine proved successful so the pack was rarely used. A non-French speaking Australian evaluation contingent headed to Paris. However, they didn't have an Australian French translator with them. Can't imagine. Dassault had built an Avon engine Mirage and had investigated air to air refueling for it. However, Australia's final decision was to stay with the standard 3E Mirage with alternate avionics. The variant was dubbed the Mirage 3O, O being for Australian. Australia's decision to re-equip with the French aircraft came as a shock to the British aircraft industry, which traditionally had been able to exercise considerable influence in the supply of Australian defence equipment. Not long after, in April 1961, the Mirage 3E flew, introducing more capability in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles. It was the first Western European combat aircraft to exceed Mark II in horizontal flight. The Mirage 3 was produced in large numbers for both the French Air Force and a number of export customers, including Argentina, Australia, South Africa, Pakistan, and Israel. The final piece of research that allowed Mark II flight was the area rule concept discovered by the American National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics in the early 50s. Area rule is that design feature which gives supersonic aircraft the coke bottle waste. The Mirage's delta wing was easy to construct, relatively robust, while providing generous amounts of internal volume in the wing for fuel tankage and being capable of achieving high speeds when flown in a straight line. If it were not for the clumsy way in which you tackle things in Britain, you could have made the Mirage yourself, said Marcel Dessaud. He was referring to the British Ferry Delta II, which flew three months later than the Mirage III and set a world speed record of 1,823 km per hour, or Mark 1.73. The Delta II confirmed Dassault's theories and provided additional supporting evidence for the viability of the Mirage 3 development. The Mirage 3 was to achieve maximum speed of 2,350 km per hour, or Mark 2.2 at 39,000 feet, a combat range of 1,200 km, ferry range of 3,335 km, service ceiling of 56,000 feet, and a rate of climb of 16,400 feet per minute. The initial order from Rajas for the RWF 
was placed in late 1961 with the first French-built machine handed over in April 1963. Local manufacturer introduced more and more Australian content, adapting to a change to the French metric system. Initially, Dassault provided a pair of pattern aircraft used to aid technicians at the Government Aircraft Factory in Melbourne, who were establishing their own assembly line for the Mirage 3E variant. The Snecma ATAR engine was built under licence by Government Aircraft Factory and Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation. A total of 114 aircraft were delivered to the RAAF with two single-seat variants and a two-seat trainer. Number 75 Squadron, equipped with Mirage jets, became operational in 1965. The last RAAF Mirage flight was on the 8th of February 1989, making the Mirage the longest serving fighter in RAAF history. During that time, of the 114 aircraft delivered, 40 were lost in accidents. Dozens of pilots were ejected from Mirages during RAAF service. All Mirages were retired in 1988 and replaced by the FA-18 Hornet. 50 were sold to the Pakistan Air Force in 1990, with the rest being acquired for museums or scrap. The Israeli Air Force was perhaps the most prolific operator of the fighter outside of France itself. Israel deployed their Mirage 3s in both the Six Day War, where it was used as both an air superiority and strike aircraft, and the Yom Kippur War. Israeli Mirage 3Cs scored kills against Syrian MiG-17s and MiG-21 aircraft. The combat-proven image and low cost made the Mirage a popular export success. The Argentine Air Force used the Mirage 3EA during the Falklands War, but their lack of an aerial refuelling capability limited the aircraft's usefulness in the conflict. Even using drop tanks, the Mirages only had an endurance of five minutes within the combat area around the British fleet. There are a number of Mirage 3s in museums in Australia, such as Fighter World at Williamtown, Darwin's Aviation Museum, RAAF Wagga Wagga, Australian National Aviation Museum at Moravan, and RAAF Museum Point Cook. One RAAF pilot said of his Mirage, it was built for speed, high speed. It was a beautiful aircraft, but it only reflected its graces when it flew over 300 knots. Below that speed, the delta wing produced drags and lots of it. This characteristic encouraged pilots to refer to it as the flying speed brake when it was below 300 knots. Below 300 knots, this drag caused it to chop fuel. Because of the high speed design, it probably had the fastest takeoff and landing speed of any operational fighter aircraft in the world. If the engine flamed out in a Mirage, you were falling out of the sky at 8,000 feet per minute. On turning on to finals and lowering the undercarriage, the rate of descent increases to 12,000 feet per minute. You begin to flare to land and arrest this rate of descent 400 feet above the threshold. Mirage pilots did have to be the best of the best. Thank you for watching.